Good afternoon, adventurers. Good afternoon from our most epic adventure yet. This is our new home on wheels. We bought been... a van! We didn't <laughs> buy a van. I swear, this is like the 10th time. I should have known she was going to try to make that joke again. I love it. One day we're actually going to do it and won't be a joke. We are going to be spending the next week driving this beautiful van all over the national parks here in Canada. We're working with a really cool company called Yama that's run by a husband and wife team and they just finished renovating this van and let me tell you they've done an insane job. Oh. Tons of little details you can tell it's behind beautiful. us. Beautiful. Yeah it's so well designed so bright and clean. And yeah we'll give you a proper tour in just a little bit show you all the features because there are a ton. It is so classy i am so excited to be in this little guy for a week and i don't think i would say that about too many other tiny confined spaces we're gonna have the details for yama in the description of all the videos we make with them we cannot stress enough how cool this van is and if you are wanting to take a trip or a road trip or anything in canada check out the link in the description and yeah. check them out you could take out this van you could or if you want your own van like this they will do a renovation for you so that you could have this for yourself mm -hmm. we're in Calgary right now we're gonna head out to Banff um, we're gonna stop kind of midway and that's when we're gonna give you guys a proper look around and I think you guys are gonna like it because there are so Ooh. many little details Ooh. that went into this this is a completely custom build everything is customized in here and it turned out great okay I guess I've done enough stalling <laughs> now I actually have to drive it and we're off all right first left turn i gotta keep telling myself drive on the right <laughs> yeah we've been in a uh, left driving countries for quite a while yes, now quite a few hopefully start riding a bike though and it'll come back real soon this thing drives so smooth you guys when you start it up you can't even hear it it's great all right that's enough talking we're gonna get on the road Wow, you guys, the scenery around here has already been absolutely incredible. It's beautiful. Yeah, there's these amazing green pine trees that are just as far as the eye can see. And it's been overcast, it's been raining. Now the sun's kind of trying to come out. And... You can see some mountains off in the distance giving us a little teaser of what we're about to get into. We are halfway to Banff. So we thought we would take this uh, little scenic stop and give you guys an official tour. Let's go take a look inside. Welcome to our home on wheels. This little sucker's name is actually Christopher Wallace after this guy, the Notorious B.I.G. The general vibe in here is super clean and rustic. It's got all these nice white features, some wood, the dark blue is really nice, but it keeps it with all the white really like open and airy feeling. And it has the sweet uh, sunroof, so it gets plenty of light in here. To start, we have our living dining space. So we have this sweet little area with this little like coffee table that moves around. And look how sweet are they? They gave us a little goodie box, y'all. They got us perfectly. Beer, some local beer, a Hefeweizen. And what is this one? New England Pale Ale. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And then, check this out. Kombucha! They got us kombucha, Oh my god. Such good flavors too. What's this? Is this coffee? This is I coffee. I didn't even see this. Mm -hmm. They got us coffee. So we got some coffee that was roasted here in Canada, in Calgary, I guess. And then, yeah, tank top, dude. Cause it's about to be summertime and my guns gotta be showing. Yeah. Do I look Canadian yet? Underneath this little seating area, there is actually a whole refrigerator in there and then a trash can and a little bit of storage. I thought that that was such a cool way to do the refrigerator. I have never seen one, it lays flat. 
I've never seen that before. It's always stacked, but it's so cool. Moving on to our lovely dining area, kitchen area. We have a fully functional sink. Check it out. Yeah. It even has hot and cold water if we want it. This little guy, oh yeah. We're gonna be cooking and cleaning We in can here. wash dishes like crazy. Oh. I think we're gonna switch up so Eric can show you the back. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> what did that mean? Uh, you know, because you, you like the booty. Oh yeah, the back. <laughs> well, I really did not get that. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Moving on to the rest of the kitchen and the back of the bus. We have this little hot plate burner here, which actually runs off of diesel. This, the shower heater and the heat, they all run off of the diesel. So they go into the main gas tank and they just use that. And they really don't use that much because a lot of these vans will have a separate like propane source or something like that, or they'll run off the electricity and suck that down. But instead, run straight off the gas tank. I love the countertops there. Solid wood and they're just solid in general, really. And then we have these amazing blue cabinets that they installed. This one doesn't open and it's because there's actually a little secret lock right here. This is a magnet and then you're supposed to be able to kind of put it right here. Ha ha, I did it. <laughs> but there you have all your pans and all your goodies. Cause this drawer I think kind of flies open while we're driving. So it's the one that has this little mag magnetic lock on it. Continuing the magnet theme, we have a handy little knife holder here that is very strong. Little details like this, man, they make it because when you're done with the knife, all you have to do is just put it right back there. You're good to go. They've even got multiple standard power outlets so you can plug in all of your goodies and keep everything charged up. In the very back of the van, we have the bed. There's actually a ton of room in here and it is super cozy. It barely fits my whole body. <laughs> Check it out. So it goes back in oh, that nook. Actually, I didn't notice this, but they oh, cut yeah. a little nook out here. Oh, that genius. gives me like just the extra headspace that I need. Check me out. That's awesome. <laughs> Continuing the white theme, everything is nice and white and clean vibes back here, white sheets and everything. They have a couple reading lights over here that are real classy. Some windows over here so you can get a little bit of natural light in here. And of course, a bunch of storage, which is one of the most important things in a tiny space like this. And actually right over here, these are all the little gizmos that run the thing. So you got all your meters for your water levels. This is for the heat. This is for the voltage on the battery system in the back, which we'll show you in just a bit. And this is the little uh, control panel. You don't actually have to jump up here like an idiot, like I did. They have a handy little ladder that you can just install right here. Ta-da! Now you can get into bed like a civilized person. This is all well and great, but what happens when you're out adventuring, having a blast in your new Yamma van, and then all of a sudden you gotta go number two. Well, this thing is actually designed to be completely off grid. So this whole unit right here is a restroom. We have this little sliding door that reveals it and check this out. So this is a composting toilet, which we have always wanted to use. We've never used it before. We're gonna show you that in just a minute, how that works. To give you guys an idea of the kind of room you have in here, Considering we're on a tiny van, this is not that bad. And of course, the shower and the toilet are kind of one in the same, but dual purpose, right? How does this composting toilet work? Well, it is actually a very, very simple system. If you open this up, you have two different chutes here. You have the poop chute and the pee chute. <laughs> when you're going number two, all you do is open this thing right there. Inside, you'll see a bunch of brown stuff, which is the peat moss. The number two goes in this hole. And then you spin this thing down here and it kind of churns it up and mixes it all up. When you pee, it goes into this forward thing and then goes into this tank down here. So the number one and the number two stay separate. And that actually makes it to where it doesn't really smell like sewage in here because it's the mixing of it all that makes it smell like sewage. Keep it separate, no smell. I have yet to go number two in there. So we will report back on that, but I have went number one. And the only downside is that as a man, you have to sit down on it just to make sure the pee goes into the front, which is totally fine, it's but it feels a little awkward. Even more relaxing, man. Yeah, you just gotta chill, go with the vibe, enjoy nature. Before we show you the rest of the front of the van, I wanna show you the garage, which is basically just the big old boot. But look how much space we have back here. So you can see we've use this for extra storage for our bags there's some window screens back here for the nighttime and then i think these are some uh, camping chairs more importantly we have the gray water and the good water right here which you can pump in up here 
Then there's a spot back here where you can pump it right out. Back here are the brains of the operation. So we've got all the controlling units for all of the power and then two huge batteries. And there are actually solar panels on the top of the van that power all of this stuff. Also, when the car is running, the alternator actually charges these batteries back here. So you don't have to rely completely on solar. It gets charged as you drive. Also, you guys, we didn't think about it, but you could be laying in bed with these doors open and just have the world out here. That's gonna be really sweet for sunrise, I think. Of course, we couldn't leave out the cockpit, y'all. This is where the magic happens, or the driving, I guess, driving. I don't know. <laughs> These seats are amazing. They're leather and they were imported from Germany, but they actually are really freaking nice and comfortable and classy and yeah. I absolutely love sitting in them. Mm -hmm. I do, I feel like, like I'm in a business meeting or something like that, or like flying first class or something. <laughs> One of the downsides to these vans, I always think, is that this whole area is kind of wasted as a hangout space, but not in this van. They've got a swivel, y'all. Whoa! I got it. Check it out, you guys. We are officially no longer driving. We are hanging out. We could totally sit here and work because this table is a swivel. Yeah. Check me out. <laughs> and I think it'll come all the way around oh, yeah. to here. Let's see. Whoa, oh, yeah, dude. check me out. <laughs> Except I want it. <laughs> hey guys, just getting some work done. Oh, geez. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't be this excited by a I... swivel, but. Swivels it's just so make everything cool. better. I gotta be honest with you guys. I love this van. It's making me want to renovate a van. Oh, it's on the set. It's making <laughs> me want to renovate a van so much. It's so much fun. There's a deer. You guys, there are two deer. There's four of them up on the road down there. We're gonna be keeping our eyes peeled because odds are that we are gonna see some black bears. And we're gonna see some, I think, mountain goats, maybe oh, a yeah. lot more deer, I'm sure. Hopefully the from far away. Far, <laughs> far away. I think that about does it. We need to get back on the road. We have about an hour, I think, until we get to Banff. We have to go get supplies so that we can cook in here tonight oh, yeah. and check into our campground. I'm excited. Let's do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tried to do <laughs> a cool do transition there, but it didn't work. <laughs> Let's just do this. <laughs> outside of Banff. Oh my God, the scenery. You guys, it's getting insane. We turned a corner and we were just greeted with tons of mountain ranges, yep. snow-capped peaks. The clouds are kind of crashing into them. It's insane, it man. Is absolutely beautiful. Drive was incredible. We had a lot of fun. We were just jamming out the music. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. super easy. It was Well, if we hadn't taken that little detour, it would have been just an hour and a half, I think. Yeah. But now we just stopped at an IGA in the town of Banff, just down the road from our campsite for the night and uh, we're gonna grab some supplies. We've made it to our campsite. We are all hunkered down for the night. Mm -hmm. they, he has these little visors that you can put over the windows when you're kind of tucked in for the night. Instead of little clips, these are magnets that just attach to these little screws that he put in. Very cool. Yeah, very clever. Yeah. We've got some for the front and for the sides, so we got epic privacy all up in privacy, here. All the privacy, all we can see is the beautiful sky and some trees. But tomorrow, we'll be booking it all the way up to Jasper, staying there for, I think, three nights, back down here for three nights, and then back to Calgary. So. We might not do too much of the campground because we'll show you it later. The sun sets so late here since it's the summertime. So it's actually after 9 p.m. And we are just now going to start cooking. Probably a horrible idea because I think that means we're not going to eat till like 1030. Yeah, that's but, all right. Checkout here is until 11. So yeah, we're good. We're fine. All right, time to cook. Dinner is served, y'all. Should probably turn oh, off the tunes. Oh, yeah. We'll listen to uh, the new Robin album. Highly recommend Pretty it. It's very good. good. Allison made a delicious dinner. I did. For us. It was chicken, broccoli, carrot, quinoa, something. 
It's going to be good. <laughs> and we got some wine to go yes. along with it. Some delicious wine. Ding. Mm -hmm. They're plastic. Our, yes. <laughs> I was so nervous when I first saw them up in the cabinet. I was like, these are going to break in like one second. Hope you guys enjoyed our first day of our epic camper van road trip. We always talk about getting a van or an RV or something. Yeah. And now we're finally living in one. We'll let you know at the end of the week. But I think we're going to really gonna like it. it. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be unbelievable lakes and wildlife and more mountains and trees and oh, so many cool things. Yeah. I can't wait. We're going to be heading up to uh, Jasper in our next video. The yep. idea is that we go up there and then slowly make our way back down and then back yep. over to Calgary where we have to drop off the van. Yeah, perfect. All right. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. Literally this time. Woo!